Okay, so the boys asked if I can put a trailer hitch on the El Civico. I was like, of course. But now I gotta <laughs> figure out how to actually do it. So I don't know what old Diesel Dave wants to tow with this car, but I'm gonna try to make this hitch strong enough to where it starts ripping the car apart before my hitch falls apart. Awesome. Let's go design it. So here's our first piece. Now I'll export that. To the press brake. Where is all this water coming from? It's a you need a carefully crafted vehicle. It's pretty strong. What's in the box? That envy is my sin. Oh, what's in the box? It looks like it's been floating off the coast of Colombia. What's in the why. box is for you in the comments. Ten of you are gonna get what's in this box, but I'm not opening it until later in the video. Stay tuned. It's hitch. a trebuchet! Your hitch That's worked perfect! Well, I found out why you needed me to make a hitch for the Civic now. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's working all right. Where the heck one? did you get a trebuchet, though? Okay, so, some guy was selling it down the street. That's and I awesome. figured, I felt bad for smashing Hans' car with all the uh, torque cans. Whoa! <laughs> so I said, he can get some payback on me. It's obviously got to be in epic fashion. Yeah. Well, this fits the bill. Yeah. This is cool. But now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in there. I don't know if I'm gonna do watermelons, do giant Easter eggs, turn it into Well, the Easter cool thing egg. about trebuchet is that you can do anything. And everything. But you know what I really need to do with it first? Get it working. Figure out how it works. <laughs> That's where you come into play. I'm your guy. You're my guy here. One hooked here. Yeah. Another one hooked here, just and lightly. Just off. And this one stays put, but this one at your optimum trajectories throw that I'm going to have to calibrate a little bit by like bending this guy. This right? one will we just release, open the sling, projectile goes flying, bada bing, bada it. boom. Let's do it. Safety, I, just I just can't guarantee any safety. <laughs> this um, Hunter, we, we need to deal with the winch. We need a battery you? for the winch. I don't know who the engineer was that put this thing together, but probably a little less qualified than you are. So I think you can figure it out. Thanks, man. I appreciate that compliment. I think it was a compliment. <laughs> it was meant as a compliment. So what do you think? Which direction do we start launching watermelons? Shop with a busy roadway and an airport. It's my best testing grounds. Maybe we just take a couple of the rocks out and fire it like 20 yards versus... I don't think that's how it's loaded, Diesel Dave. But I think, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we need it to be anchor, anchored to something. Yeah, that's the anchor. So I figured the Civico is a good yeah, enough Civico sacrifice. <laughs> Let's do a no modification run and then see what we have to work on. And go from there. Trebuchet test number one. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you let us do that? Why would you let us do that? It's so bad! So what do we need? More weight? That was awesome! That was a great... Sorry about your truck, truck, amigo. Put an engine block in there, should be weighty enough where we launch a two liter bottle, the same weight, and hopefully have a higher project projection.
All right, ready to get launched. I just will smith you. <laughs> oh, I'm, Too Chris, soon? I'm Chris Rock. <laughs> you know what? I can't wait for GIJ2. You in it, Cole? Oh, you didn't. Oh. <laughs> Keep my name out, out your mouth. mouth. <laughs> and that's how it happened. <laughs> Hey Hunter, maybe we ought to like get it loose from the pallet before lifting it up in the air. Crazy driver. Say my thing. Jason, put this on first. Uh, that one's got an idea. What's he, what's he getting out of his trunk? Yeah, Alan! <laughs> Woohoohoo! This guy is gold. <laughs> There's nothing he can't do. Wizard. You added a lot of weight just now. That yeah. might be dangerous if we let go and he's up there. <laughs> <laughs> I do not trust you to not let go. Up on there, cool. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> uh, we need to find some ammunition. How the frick did you know that was here? I just knew. We need some duct tape though. Bring on the water, let it rain down! That's what I'm talking about! Did it smash the car? Okay, so the engine block may or may not have just flown out the back of the Civic. And the way they're looking at it makes me think maybe the back of my Civic O doesn't look the same as it did when I ran over there. Oh, not the paint. Kavina! <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It did a lot less damage than I imagined when you guys all stopped and went like this. <laughs> so yeah, there goes the back of the Civic O the next day all right so what we did yesterday was probably considered amateur at best and so today we brought in a true professional john <laughs> that's where we got the trebuchet from and he's going to show us maybe how to do it better first things first we get the winch hooked up and i'll get something that actually charges the winch so that you can pull it down without hunter hanging on it turns out that's uh first thing we were doing wrong is having four guys just hang on it to lock it into place every time frowned upon i guess Trigger. Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll get her wound up nice. John's saying we need at least a thousand pounds on the weight. Two. Two thousand. Well, we want probably whatever we can get, as heavy as we can get in that. Sorry about your water softener, Cole. Oh, no. That's some good weight in there. You guys, what the heck? Hopefully, I didn't just cut it open. Being careful because there might be some kind of Dude, white powder. You're taking forever. Ah. Our most popular new product. Backpacks. You're the coolest. Dude. Look at these things. They have more pockets than I know what to do with. Come here. You got to see this. Look at this. You've got storage there. You got like line thing there you got another one down there you got another one there you got one back there then you got this whole other section for more stuff in case you have like top 17 section computers yeah this is your bag fits a lot of spaghetti maybe a meatball sub right like right there six inch five dollar foot long maybe Holy. special edition backpacks diesel power gear these just came out 10 of you in the comments we're going to be picking you we'll reach out 
Get your address, we'll be sending these to you. Stay tuned. You can put like a six pack of soda in there. You can put six packs of soda in here. Beep, 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 beep. Bro, do you see when it starts smoking orange? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, screws my tires. So we're gonna launch you this time? Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> I always drink a prime. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything safe gonna... about a trebuchet, to be honest. <laughs> you, could, you could use it safer than other ways, but in the end, there's nothing safe about a trebuchet. Leave that on until we get a call. That's what we got. We got lined up perfect to throw a watermelon, a five pound watermelon, out into that field. The trebuchet is loaded up with about 500 pounds, 400 pounds of salt, maybe 100 pounds of rocks, give or take. John shows how to use it. Got a winch down. The lock is now off. All he's got to do is take the winch off, pull the rope, and fya! Watermelon's gone. Safety coal. I consider this to be safe. Trebuchet test day two, test one, whatever I'm saying. Ready, set, pull it! Yeah! Fight! Fight. <laughs> It's time Here's for the double melon test. And you know what? I'm going to give the honors to old Hunter over here. Oh, yeah. Hunter's oh, rigged oh, up a new oh, switch. Okay. We're going to see if it fixes yeah, the problem. Try, you that, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! oh!